Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to tell you how you can crack the Mercer Metal Test. But first of all, a lot of you might be thinking, what does it mean? What is the Mercer Metal Test? And the thing is, when I was in college, very few people had awareness of it, very few people knew about it. So I know a lot of you will not be knowing about this. So it's basically a standardized test and once you take the test, they gave you a scorecard. Now on the basis of the scorecard, you're able to apply a lot of companies. So there are a lot of companies who like have hirings based on this Mercer Metal scorecard. So if you have a good score, then you can directly apply and go for the interview of a majority of companies. So the test is mostly on aptitude. And as we know, aptitude is pretty important for two types of companies. One, you have the uh, service based company and one you have the fintech companies. Both of these companies like take aptitude very, very seriously. So if you have a good score in Mercer Metal test, and if you have a good scorecard, then definitely it will open up a lot of opportunities for you and you'll be able to directly apply to a lot of companies. Let's say like Accenture, Tech Mahindra or a fintech company like JP Morgan. So in this video, we're going to talk all about Mercer Metal Test. We're going to see what it is, how you can crack it, what is the pattern, what is the preparation strategy you need and everything in between. Let's get started. So first of all, you might be thinking, what is the eligibility criteria? Am I eligible or not? So the eligibility criteria for this is very, very lenient. Anyone can apply for it. If you're doing graduation, if you're pursuing graduation, if you're already a graduate, if you're already working, anyone can apply for it. And the field is also not that like, you know, stringent. If you're a BSc student, if you're a BCA student, if you're a BCom student, if you're a BTEC student, anyone can apply for it. Okay. Anyone can apply for it. And once you get the scorecard, you can portray it over your LinkedIn. You can portray it over your resume. And it is definitely something that will give you a little bit of weight over other people when you apply for those companies like I previously mentioned. So now let's go specifically into what this test is all about and, you know, how you can get around cracking it. And trust me, it's super simple. Why? Because it's entirely about aptitude and I've made a lot of videos about aptitude. Aptitude is not that difficult. So first of all, you might be thinking it's a standardized test. Why are they using aptitude? So the reason for that is because aptitude does not need any excessive knowledge in the subject. It's not like computer science, it's not like medical, it's not like anything like that, which requires a lot of knowledge in that domain. It is pretty neutral. Anyone can become a master of aptitude if they practice well enough. It doesn't need a lot of time to be a master of. So aptitude becomes a pretty neutral thing to test over. Okay. Now, inside aptitude, what all will be there? What all, you know, topics will be there or what the divisions will be? There? So the divisions goes like this. It's pretty general, like we have also talked about in other videos. So the aptitude part is divided into four parts. You have first your quantitative aptitude, your logical reasoning, your verbal ability or verbal aptitude, and then you have your critical thinking. So critical thinking you might have heard for the first time in my videos because generally we see three divisions and these three divisions are your quantitative aptitude, your uh, logical reasoning and verbal ability. So you also have critical thinking. So it's very simple and the difficulty level you might be wondering. So the difficulty level here is medium. You'll not be getting easy questions. It will be medium to difficult, probably around medium. If you're able to solve an aptitude within a minute, you'll be able to do so. So in each of divisions, you'll have 20 questions. You have to do one question under one minute. Okay. And the good news for you guys, there's no negative marking. Okay. So you can try your luck if you want to as well, which we did not get to do in JE. So definitely you can attempt all the questions. There's no negative marking. And now comes to the main part. How do you practice? How are you going to practice? Okay. So I know I've made a lot of videos. By the way, if you're looking for the most important topics or the topics specifically you should prepare for, then they will be in the resources part of description box. So go in the description box. You'll see all of the important topics that you should cover. Now, how you should cover them? Let's go to that. So I've also mentioned this in my other videos. If you have not seen them, you can go and watch them. And the only thing you need to do in aptitude is solve questions. That's it. There's nothing more to aptitude than that. You just need to practice well enough. Let's go a little deeper. How will you practice? How will you solve questions? So this is how you're going to do it. I suggest kind of getting a notebook. Okay. Physical notebook, online notebook totally depends on you. I suggest getting a physical notebook. Okay. Divide the notebook into four parts. Now go step by step. Okay. Go in quantitative aptitude. Quantitative aptitude is about mathematics. Note down all the formulas that are there according to the topics, which I mentioned in the description. No doubt all the formulas get to problem solving, get to solving questions for solving questions. The best website there is for aptitude is like without a doubt, indiabix.com. There's no website that can top that. Okay. So you go to indiabix.com and you start solving questions. Quantitative aptitude, note down the formulas, start solving questions. 
reasoning ability, logical reasoning, note down the tricks in your notebook, start solving the question. Verbal ability, note down whatever little theory is there, start to solve the question. Likewise for critical thinking. So it's just a two-step process for all of the aptitude parts. You just need to note down whatever little concepts are there and then go straight to solving problems. That's pretty much it. Aptitude is done in that. Okay. So for solving problems, IndiaBigs.com is the best site. Okay. And if you want help in learning the concepts, then I'll suggest a few books in the description. Like you have a few books which explain the theoretical parts very good, but it is something that you can easily, you know, like learn from India Big or just find on YouTube because nothing of the theory or the concepts is very difficult. It's all pretty easy. Once you do enough practice on IndiaBigs.com, where let's say you're able to solve every question within one minute. If you're not able to solve a question, make a note of it in the notebook and then like just keep revising it from time to time with whatever concept you were missing out on. Okay. Now, once you're done solving the generic problems on IndiaBigs.com, the next thing we're going to do is solve the past year questions. Okay. So I'll give again link, link to those in the description. I'll give link to sample questions. I'll give link to previous year questions. Go and solve them religiously. Okay. A test like this, a recruitment test like, you know, this Mercer Metal or even AMCAT or even CoCubes, the best thing you can do is just solve previous year questions. That will give you a very good idea about what you need to do right now. Okay. So start solving questions on IndiaBigs.com. Start making notes in your notebook for whatever little theory you have and then solve previous year questions and then solve sample questions. And then you also have a few mock tests, like some of them are free, some of them are paid. So I'll suggest going for the free ones first. If you still need help, you can go for the paid ones, but free are enough, free sources are enough. So I'll give link to those as well. The mock test, after you're done with the previous year questions and sample questions, then finally go for the mock test, okay? Now, a few things you should keep in mind while you're in the exam, do not panic take things very easily like keep it in your head it's a very simple exam and you'll be able to crack it with ease that's all you need to keep in your mind okay be very careful solving every question and uh, like i said you don't need to worry about negative marking so if you're not able to solve a question just mark anything and move on don't waste time on any single question don't make that mistake here okay the same mistake we made in je don't make it here now you are allowed to bring pen and paper you're allowed to bring a calculator so those things you can use to your advantage. Generally in aptitude test, you're not allowed anything. You have to calculate yourself. Here you'll be allowed calculator. So be ready with that. So that's pretty much it. Go straight to the description box, see all the resources, start solving problems, and you can easily crack it. Once you crack the exam, you'll get your scorecard and then you'll be able to put it on your LinkedIn profile. You can make a post about it. You can then like once you apply to these kind of companies, service-based company, fintech companies, these companies, who consider the scorecard of Mercer Metal, you can directly apply to them and you'll get straight to the interview. So that's pretty much it. If you have any doubt, feel free to leave a comment. I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you.